What's up everybody? Well today we are going to attempt to make a pizza on the Traeger Ranger Grill. We're really excited about this. So every so often, you know, we want a regular pizza, even though we try to eat low carb. Since it's 4th of July weekend, we figured we would splurge and get a pizza and try it on the grill for the first time. Yes. So this is the kind we got. We really like this kind. I just picked it up from Walmart. It's basically a 12 inch pizza. With the Ranger, our pizza pan does not quite fit in the Traeger. So we're gonna show you how we're gonna cook this on there. Well, Jason will probably show you outside. Yeah. But we're excited to try this. So the oven ingredients on this say, preheat oven to 400 degrees, which I do have the Ranger out there preheating. Bake for 20 to 22 minutes, so. Now that's frozen. We purchased this two days ago and I've just had it in the fridge. So it is thawed out, it's not frozen. So it may not take quite the 20 to 22 minutes. We'll have to kind of keep an eye on it. Yeah. Let's show you how we're gonna get this on the grill to cook it. Let's see how it turns out. It has reached 400 degrees. We're gonna open this up. You see, we got a piece of aluminum right there. Aluminum foil. We, aluminum foil. Boom. We're gonna set a timer for 10 minutes and we'll check it in about 10 minutes uh, and see how it's looking. Timer. Eight minutes, nine minutes, whoops, 10 minutes, start, boom. Countdown is going. It's been 10 minutes. Let's just give this a look and see how it's doing. Oh my gosh, that's already looking good. Look at that. You can see it's already cooking up there. I would say probably another five minutes-ish. Yeah, we'll give it another five minutes. Yeah, oh my gosh, that looks so good. We've decided to take the aluminum foil off to give the bottom part of the pizza kind of a little bit of uh, heat to kind of crisp up with. So I'm gonna use my tongs here, just grab this. Might use this, oh yeah. Man, that's smelling and looking good. Get the bottom of a real quick look. You know what? Actually, it's done. Is it done? Yeah, it's done. It is completely done on the bottom. Uh, let's go inside and uh, take a look at this. Well, there you have it, you guys. Oh my gosh, this looks delicious. Look at that. It's crispy on the bottom. Let's give it a, a let's slice give it a and slice. take a look at the bottom. Man, what I love about this is we didn't have to heat up the truck with our oven yeah, because it's, it's hot. We're in California, Barstow. Barstow, California. <laughs> it's 100 degrees out already and it's only 10 a.m. Yeah, so being able to cook this on the Traeger and not have to heat up the whole truck with our convection oven, man, look at that. Oh my goodness. That's like perfect. Now, it did only take us about 12 minutes to cook this because like I said, it was not frozen. It had thawed out in the fridge. So if you're cooking a frozen pizza on it, it probably would take maybe the whole 20 to 22 minutes. My silicone mat keeps wanting to slide on me. Man, look at that. <laughs> I wanna see the bottom of it. Oh, nice, a little, little, bla little, little black. Little black charred, not too bad though. Probably if it, like I said, if it was frozen, it wouldn't have taken so quickly to cook. Yeah. You know, it would have cooked a little slower. And but... that was the reason we were gonna pull the aluminum foil off was because we wanted it to get crispy on the bottom and we were worried it being on the aluminum foil, it was gonna just stay soggy in the middle, but it didn't, so. Man. Now the true taste test. I think we're gonna have to let it cool off a minute. Yeah, we'll have to let it cool off a little bit and then let's we'll let you Let's know. give it about five minutes to cool off and we'll give you a consensus on the taste. All right, let's give it a test. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> Good. Ma'am, don't wanna talk with my mouth full, sorry, but Oh my gosh, that is so good. It's like 
the crust is perfectly crispy not too crisp you know you can overcook it and it's hard man that is perfect let's see what you think still a little warm mm. yeah a little bit <laughs> Tyson and babies want some. Those want some. <laughs> Where's our bite, Daddy? Mm. Oh yeah, the crust is perfect, right? Yeah. I don't like a cr uh, crunchy crust either, so. It's hey, like the perfect thin, amount. Yeah, yeah, it was a perfect amount. Of course, that's going to vary on your cook time you know how long you cook it and what your if it was frozen or all that you can almost taste the wood a little bit too it's just a very I slight so too i thought so too yeah just a very slight bit but you can taste the wood like in the bottom crust part mm -hmm. <laughs> that's awesome that's awesome just another thing the the traeger is good for you you know a lot of people have been asking well can you grill on it and i mean you can grill on it you can smoke on it you bake can bake on it, on it. um I wouldn't go baking brownies or cupcakes <laughs> in it or nothing, but unless you like wood flavored right. brownies or, but man, that's really good. I'm gonna go for another bite. Wow, you guys, I'm <laughs> really, really super good. impressed, super yeah. impressed. Like Jason said, you can make so many things with it. Yeah, and we just on a whim decided, hey, we got this pizza, <laughs> we got the grill already out there set up, let's, uh, let's go pizza. for it, let's try it out. The babies are trying to get my slice of pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, guys, man, if you haven't thought about or if you've been thinking about getting one of these, yeah, it's very versatile. Like I said, I love it because didn't have to heat up the inside of the truck with our oven. How, how, how would you compare it to uh, Pilot Flying J Pizza? Oh gosh, blows blows that out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> no comparison. No comparison. That's no like comparison. that's like comparing uh, a Walmart steak to a uh, Ruth Chris steak. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, but yeah. yeah. We love it. Love it. We're excited to share that with you guys. We'll Hope be you doing many it. more videos of uh, trying it out for different stuff, yeah. you know? I know uh, Heather's cauliflower mac and cheese. I know we're going to try that in there. Yes. Yeah. I'm and curious we'll, to try that. We're going to do goes. some uh, filet mignon, some hamburgers, hot dogs, you know, some of the basic stuff too. Yeah. So Yeah. Just share with you guys what we're using ours for. So yeah. give you some inspiration, hopefully. Yeah. So yeah, thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing. And until our next video. Peace, love, and expediting. Hi. You guys want some pizza. Hi. I want some pizza. Hi. Pizza, pizza, pizza. You don't get none. No pizza for you. No. <laughs>